Hello YouTubers, this is Neil Nils Coins. Just got back from Chattanooga, Tennessee show. Had a good time. Seen some of my friends. Uh bought one coin, traded for a couple other ones. Um Good show. Not a really bad drive. It's a couple hours from where I'm at. And uh, I just want to show you a few things I picked up and uh, touch base on a, a previous video. All right, the first coin I've got Morgan Dollar. Let's set this up. All right, it's a Morgan Dollar 1879S. Pretty decent coin. Uh, the reason I bought this coin was they had it marked as a 62. And I'm just not seeing it. Only thing I see is uh, a little bit different. Uh, I don't know why they had it graded for. Uh, 62. Only thing I see on the back is one little spot right there on the coin. And uh, that's the major on the back got a little toning spots there that don't hurt nothing real nice and frosty the front the only thing i see there's one thing right there some real light bag marks nothing too crazy something going on right there but it's a little bit of illusion because if you turn it, it goes away so i don't know if that's on the the film or what but other than that that's it i think it that coin's a 64 i bought it as a 62 this is the only coin that i did purchase uh real nice coin i want to send this one off to uh have it graded to get you know my money out of it they ain't a uh, big jump between 62 and 64 uh but no my luck it'll come back a 63 um and i ain't checked it for varieties like s over s or yeah it is a 79 back sometimes they have 78 reverse a uh, real nice coin all right next up it's an 83 o and a kind of a Odd holder. I've never seen this holder before. Uh, we'll show you the back first. Maybe the lighting will cooperate and we'll zoom in. Uh, it's an 83 O, so it should have a doubled O. Or uh, that would be the variety to look for. It's got some peripheral toning going on, but and it's got scratches on the holder that's what you're seeing across to there real nice coin but the back isn't why i bought it the reason i bought it was the front now it's got a pretty good ding on her cheek that's gonna hurt the, the grade it's probably a 63 probably a 60 dollar coin in, in that grade but it, with having a little bit of tone in it it should get a little bit more on it and this, I can't stress enough that on camera, this toning just does not do this thing any justice. There's some purples and blues and greens over here. And it's got a gold with some green going over here. It's just really vibrant. And there's some blues in here too. You can't see. Uh, but the, the case is what's making it do and there must be some kind of there's uh some kind of sulfur in the color in the in this piece of cardboard i'll have to look up this is probably a mid 80s early 80s holder had a sticker on it on the back of it one time and i don't know whose fingerprints these are it's probably 30 years worth of fingerprints on this thing i'll have to give it a polish uh, Next up is a coin I got from a co-worker. 
uh, I've, I don't know what this is, I believe it or not. It is not a, uh, it is not a quarter. It's bigger than a quarter, smaller than a half dollar. Just to give you an example, let's see here. Here's a half dollar. Let's zoom in. It's smaller than a half dollar. I got a quarter somewhere. There it is. And a quarter is a lot smaller. So what this is representing is a 16, 1916 quarter, standing Liberty quarter. Uh, they changed them in mid-year of 1917 because a lot of people didn't like that it's got boobies on it to be correct and then they changed it uh to she had like chain mail on and then the shield's a little different and she had a lot more clothes on pretty much what it is, amounted to the back of this thing it says quarter designed by Mr. McNeil, Herman McNeil. Uh, I don't know if this is some kind of bullion that somebody had graded or what. I did look it up. It is real, but they don't give a description of exactly what this coin is. It says pattern design. So I don't know. I don't even know what it's worth. I didn't get much for it. They are on eBay. Um, You know, anywhere from 50 bucks to 160 bucks. I don't even know what that is. If anybody out there in YouTube land knows what this is and what kind of value it is, uh, since they gave it a grade, so there's got to be a value corresponding to the, uh, the value corresponding to a proof 69 of whatever this is. But anyway, if you have any any idea what that is, let me know in the comments, please. Now, my last video. I had uh, found some fake walking Liberty half dollars and I got a comment uh, about the way I test them. I can't remember exactly what I said, but what I did was I took a magnet like this. It's an earth magnet. It's different than the black magnets that you find on just about everybody's refrigerator in America. But, um, a little bit stronger uh, the negativity or whatever I don't know what it is but it's a pretty strong magnet so I did a slide test if you don't just go back and watch the other video you'll see it but anyway um, now don't get me wrong I mean this is a pretty pretty strong magnet uh, so it works now at the show today I seen that they had uh, more magnets so I went over and I bought the biggest one they had. This is the granddaddy of magnets. Uh, this is a 150 pound magnet. Don't get it, if you buy one or any magnet, uh, don't get it around your phone, your scales, your computer or anything like that. Um, because it will, that $2 bill just don't want to stand up here today. Oh well. It wants me to spend it, I guess, or sell it. Uh, don't get your fingers around it. Because uh, it is, like I said, well, let's just do this. You know what? Flyers way, you know, maybe. You know what? Uh, that's pretty strong. <laughs> anyway it's a strong magnet what i'm going to do for you today um and show you another test you can take a little dime let's see if i got another morgan here somewhere i thought i did um Here, Morgan 
dollar a real one all right both of these are 90 percent silver and you know uh, 10 percent copper it's kind of hard to do it on dimes because they're so small but if you wave this strong magnet let's see if i can do it it'll move won't do it a lot but it will move without touching it now since the coin's bigger since i have a bigger coin you, anyway you get the point it will move the it won't pick it up it won't pick it up It wants to. You know, if it was a, if it was a uh, fake coin, it'll definitely stick to it. And if you take this and this other magnet, you can tell it's pretty strong. I'm trying to keep it away from my phone. And yeah, I'll keep it in this case because it's, if it gets a hold of something, it won't, it won't release. And I mean, even in the case, it's pretty strong. I would recommend, if y'all like magnets, everybody likes magnets. It, it's still pretty strong through this plastic. But anyway, uh, what else is there? There's a coin show coming up in Franklin, Tennessee next weekend. Uh... I'm not going to yet. Won't be able to go. I got some family duties to do. Uh, and then um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, tomorrow at the Hilton in Marietta is our monthly local show, Greater Atlanta Show. That's what, if you want to look it up, just look up Greater Atlanta Coin Show, Marietta, Georgia, and it'll pop right up. It's real. Now, that's a good show. Uh, Sunday only, it's like every second Sunday of the month, uh, I may go to that one in the morning, uh, I guess that's about it, anyway, like, subscribe, uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments, if you have any answers, leave them in the comments, um, Thanks a lot. See you next time.